I have the pleasure of announcing the 2019 Total Health Conference in Cape Town, South Africa on the 4th and 5th of October at the Cape Town Marriott Hotel, Crystal Towers. The conference is being organised by Dietmar Eickhoff, a general dentist with a wealth of experience who has a particular interest in sleep and breathing disorders. The list of speakers will include Jill Rapley, author of Baby Led Weaning. Nothing is completely new, but Jill can certainly be accredited to having brought new life to an old idea, trying to bring some common sense and rationality to a surprisingly controversial area. It appears that using pureed foods and delaying hard, solid foods does not reduce the number of choking events and risks damaging the natural development of a normal swallow and the enjoyment of foods in general. Then we have Dr. Steve Olmos, who has been a visionary in the areas of craniofacial pain, temporomandibular disorders and sleep disordered breathing. Influenced by my father, Dr. Olmos has spent the last 30 years devoted to research and treatment in these areas. He set up the TMJ and Sleep Therapies Centres International, which now has over 50 centres in seven countries. Then we have Dr. Christina Burns, who is the only speaker whom I've yet to meet. She is a chiropractor from the US who speaks on the rapid rate of postural deterioration which coincides with the modern technological changes and links text neck with digital dementia, suggesting that changes in body posture are related to diseases such as Parkinson's. Her system, the Postural Hygiene Program, Better Posture for Brighter Futures, is taught throughout the Italian school system. And finally, we have Patrick McEwen, whom is an old friend and colleague who has been pivotal at popularizing the work of Professor Constantine Bitego. These are deceptively simple breathing methods, seem to have multiple health benefits, demonstrating a 50 to 80% reduction in the medication required by asthmatics. They are simple, cheap and safe. And according to Hassan et al. 2012, if a drug could show these results, then it is likely that it would be used widely in asthma control. It's an honour to be the main speaker at this event. On Friday the 4th, I will cover the cause, pathology and cure of malocclusion. This is the theoretical philosophy underpinning my thoughts and treatment. And then, I cover the basics of orthotropic practice and what I feel the future holds on Saturday the 5th. It's my aim to give a fully evidence-based talk, which is both engaging and entertaining. Despite evidence to the contrary, these are not mutually incompatible. South Africa is known for being frank and forthcoming. They say it like it is. I would encourage both dentists and orthodontists to attend. It seems strange to me that the orthodontic and dental profession is treating a large percentage of the population without a working knowledge of the cause, epidemiology, pathology or cure of malocclusion. However, what I find more alarming is that there is almost no discussion on these topics. There is little more beyond both sides claiming that the other side's treatment approach is not evidence-based. It's time to engage in the scientific process, meet up and put our opinions and evidence on the table. Medicine is about treating the causes of a problem. It's time to talk. Clearly, you cannot talk if you're not there. The 4th and 5th of October, Cape Town. Thank you. Mm -hmm.